Hey, I'm Eric. I'm the Explorer. I'm Phil. I'm the Folklorist. And together we are setting out across the Empire State to explore the haunts and legends of New York. The Proctor family helped grow Utica, and they left their mark on the city with a symbol they held dear, the American Eagle. Discover the Eagle symbols the Proctors placed around Utica, including one at a now abandoned and hidden entrance to F.T. Proctor Park. And once we find each Proctor Eagle, we discover how they are all amazingly connected geographically. This is the search for Proctor's Lost Eagles. Well, Phil, here we are at an entrance I don't think anybody's ever seen to one of the Proctor Parks in Utica. And the reason why? I'm going to show you some hidden eagle symbolism that the Proctor family has planted all around Utica. Is it a live bird? N not a live bird. I don't know if it's still back there, but the eagles symbol meant a lot to the Proctor family and there are eagles hidden all around Utica. Really? Let's go find them. Well here we are back in one of our favorite spots in Utica, sure. the uh, Bag Commemorative Park. Good. Good. Yes. You got it right. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> And uh, so, Joe, what I wanted to ask you about today, I've heard some stories about uh, the Proctor family and they have a special connection with the eagles and an eagle symbolism. And uh, do you know a little bit more about that? It seems as though, according to Frank and according to what I've read in other places, uh, this is the second story. There's always a backstory. Right. But I trust Mr. Tomano before I trust anybody else. And he says that, as he says here, at the turn of the century, early 1900s, Thomas Proctor purchased a caged American eagle. And he took it home. And uh, subsequently, on the 4th of July, uh, feeling that the eagle deserves its freedom as we have our freedom on the 4th, took it to the cupola on top of the American Hotel. Now, the American Hotel was right across the square from where we're standing, right across that crazy uh, bridge that I hate. Right. <laughs> uh, there was the American Hotel, right? Took it up to the cupola there and opened the cage to set the eagle free on the 4th of July, giving it its freedom as we had ours. The eagle stopped for a moment, looked at him, and then took flight toward the Adirondacks. Now, Mr. Tomeno claims that it was almost like, as he says here, it was almost like the eagle was thanking Thomas Proctor for his freedom. And it's kind of a, a neat little uh, uh, view that uh -huh. he has on this thing. And that, that takes the story of that eagle. Now, when Mrs. Proctor, Mariah Proctor, had this memorial building built here in Bag Commemorative Park, she had, as you can see from the top, an eagle uh, that was fashioned oh, yep. at Tiffany's New York City. Really? So it's a quite a quite a uh, uh, important little little symbol of the Proctor family. So th there are two connections there of the eagle and the Proctor family. And the third connection would be the eagle at what we know as the eagle, the, a place, the Parkway Eagle, the park, right? right? At the top of Conklin uh, Park, where that used to be uh, uh, the uh, lovers uh, area where right you, and then rightly so as Frank points out you look out over the city all lit up at night it's kind of a romantic spot mm -hmm. and that's what it was for a long time my dream is to recreate that little mini park and we'll go up there and, and and take some photos and you'll see where there's some work that needs to be done mm -hmm. to recreate that that's another one of my future projects right I got to so now that's the, the, the third or the fourth that's the third ego reference. Yep. The fourth one would be, that few people know about, is a uh, monument similar to this one that, that, uh, that uh, Frank talked about up at the Conklin Park in Frederick Proctor Park. And that's the one that's on Culver Ave. Off the of Culver Ave, you're correct. 
Uh, Eric, you know your local history. I try. Uh, that, that is great. I, I'm so pleased <laughs> when I meet somebody who's interested and knows their local history. Uh, so that a monument there, all that's left is part of the base. Mm -hmm. You don't have to crawl through some brush, but we could do that. Mm -hmm. I'll let you go first and clear okay. the way, okay? <laughs> and then I'll follow up. <laughs> so I won't get all brushed up. Right. <laughs> but that's the fourth connection with the eagle to the Proctor family. I wonder if there's not even one more. Eagle Street in Utica oh. ends at Fountain Elms, does it not? Yes, it does. You're not going to embarrass the Oneida County historian. No, sir, I'm not. Because you're 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 telling me something that I had hadn't even thought about, <laughs> let alone research. <laughs> now I'm going to have to research yeah. it to see if you're correct. I have no idea if that's just coincidence or is that one more tie. Well, that would be really something. Wouldn't that be something? Okay, so here we are, just off of Bleecker Street in East Utica. This is an entrance to Proctor Park that I never knew existed. Obviously kind of overgrown now, but let's go and see if we can find the secret eagle in Proctor Park. Okay, we've come across a clue here. I can see these one, two, three, four pillars that obviously used to mark some kind of boundary with the park. So. I'll bet we're getting closer to that monument. They the roadway, the circle ah, they marked the roadway that will once led into off of Bleecker Street that led into the park. I think we just found it. Watch out, Phil. Aha! So this was a monument, monument that was the, the equal, the twin to the eagle in the parkway, at the parkway. Yes, that's what I'm told. And I have the maps at home I should look up. If I knew this is what we were going to do today, I would have done that. You see, it's pretty much, pretty much nothing left except the the pillar itself. Uh huh. This is the top, and then it had an eagle statue or whatever. So, the, top of here. the eagle statue at Proctor Memorial Building at Bag Commemorative Park was from Tiffany. Any idea were these just? No, I don't. No, no idea I, where I they came suspect, from. I would suspect local. Yep. Um, wow. If we walk to Conklin Park. We may be able to. Tell them more up there because the, the eagle is still there. Yes. Here it's gone, but this is where, and this is a circle. Uh huh. And those those concrete posts, I obviously uh, tell where the road was, and it was like the entrance here, and then a circle around. You know, it was a nice entrance. And right. All the other entrances. No kidding. This has been abandoned for so long. Wow. Uh, yeah, I, all all overgrown and. Just by accident, I found this, and. Uh, was told that's what it was. No kidding. So it was just wow. it was fascinating to me because so few know about it. Yes. That's the thing. You know, it's it's a unique find as far as local history is concerned. Yes. And now the guru <laughs> from Lake 98.7. Uh, now I'll pass on the story. Mysteries in history. <laughs> wow. So how long since this park's been like this? Or this portion any yeah any idea how long they no, abandoned as long it as I've been here wow and I've been here for 30 years um, yep sure enough anyway it's been here a long time I should look it up and find out more specific information on it wow what a find what a yeah. find great find Joe if you I'm told if you go straight south this will run into the other eagle oh I'll bet it does. It's on line with the other, the Parkway Eagle. Correct. That's wow. on a hill. This isn't. This is right. But those white posts kind of—that's what I was guide you for because they guide where the roadway went. Mm -hmm. uh, this, uh, if I remember the map correctly, this was a circle, like like an entrance to a park. Right. Being, with a monument, you know. All right.
Well, you know what's interesting to me about this, Joe, is, you know, this, I wonder, was this around the same time that Mariah Proctor did the building because, you know, the, 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 the tablets here, the inscription, the message, the Bible verses, as you pointed out, um, they, they seem to be a one-to-one -one connection between the Proctor Memorial Building at Bag Commemorative Park. I'm not 100% sure when this erected, but that building was erected in 1932, 33. And it, so, uh, it, you know, and, and just, just in the way that it was written, so the, 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 the Proctor Memorial Building, you know, is a is you know to the city the with with that phrasing we've talked about before you know Utica and you know an uncorruptible city or whatever and and here it says he was an uncorruptible citizen so it really feels like right. there is a there. there's yeah. a there's a one to one Similarity connection there the, yeah. The vocabulary, yeah yeah well if she wrote it that would that would uh, that would give credence to why it's the, the vocabulary is such so similar right well yeah. there it is another one of Proctor's eagles I wanna. Tramping through the woods at uh, uh, Proctor Park on Culver Ave, and you were saying, you know, the you can kind of Frederick T. Proctor Park. Thank you, Frederick T. We Proctor want to Park. Up our parks. There are a couple of them. <laughs> um, you know, and you know, you you said you know there was a, a kind of a traffic circle, and we were following the old, you know, stone pillars to try to make that out. And wouldn't you know, the same thing. Here. The same thing here. The same traffic circle and that same row of pillars that you could find here. And that leads us to another eagle. And it leads us to another eagle. Yeah. So if the eagle, now I'm really going to try to draw a connection. If this is, if this is, we're looking down at about, how would it be fair to say Mohawk Street-ish? If I'm looking straight down there, Mohawk Street, would be this way. Mohawk Street would be this way, Culver would be this way. This might be something like Third Ave. Right. Is... Yeah. So the eagle is pointing to the east, but is that, are those feathers pointing down to the, or it would be pointing northeast to where the other eagle statue honestly, is? Honestly, Eric, I don't think the position of the eagle is significant to the okay. geographic di direction of the other eagle. Okay. But the monument itself. The monument itself. Is, is. The eagle that we found at Frederick T. Proctor Park would be in a line this way, down what would be about Third Avenue. Okay. And I think that would fall right in line with with it. Uh, Mohawk Street, Culver Ave is more to the east right. of it. So we'd have to go somewhere in this in this direction right here. Uh huh. And that would bring us right to where the other monument is. But I'm I'm sure that uh, I don't think that they set it that way. It's right. just ironic that this eagle. So and then the Memorial Building, the Memorial eagle, Building eagle, and then the Eagle and Frederick D. Proctor Park seem to be on the line, and they all had the same Proctor connection. Phil, come here! I, I, I found it. Found what? Joe, our expert was absolutely correct. Uh -huh. Look at this. If you connect the train station mm -hmm. right up here at Bag Square, where the Proctor Memorial Building is with that Eagle Monument and look at that it is a straight line down to where the uh, Parkway Eagle is in Roscoe Conkling Park look at that it it is absolutely lined up huh well Phil we have found the Proctor Eagles and in some places I never would have imagined yeah uh, let alone that that's a park and there's actually a monument in there that really surprised me <laughs> a, a monument from from many many days gone by in Utica but if you dig around and trailblaze enough you can find some of Utica's hidden history. There's a lot of it. There really is and if you like the haunts and legends of New York this series subscribe if you like this episode give it a thumbs up and go in the comments below and let us know where else we should go.